En dan kan ik flip. Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, I love this. I'm package. shivering already. It's like, oh, can't wait to just like. Gee, gee, gee. Anyways, let's start the intro. Welcome everyone to the ridiculous CQP sniper gameplay. Here is two ridiculous people with two ridiculous guns. This one makes kinda sense, I guess. Not just kinda, it makes total sense. But this one, this especially one. with this, this one is just magazine. You know, I just tried to steal Joseph's idea, but grab a lot more attention with something that looks amazing. So that's what I have. It's a 150 rounds mag, flashlight in front so I can blind people, and of course, rail space all over the place. Let's get to it. Let's go. This, this should be fun. Ha! And I can see clamp it. And I can mag flip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the game. This time we're playing in a new field called Satov Keramika and the game mode is Team Deathmatch. Got the guy. Hit! Okay, first kill with the CQB sniper. So far so good. I actually fired one shot, I killed one guy, so pretty happy about that. After respawning, I decided to go a little slower this time, because I don't know the feel yet and there can be enemies hidden anywhere. Well, seems like I'm not the only guy here. That was close. Let's try to find a way around that guy and surprise him. There are a lot of enemies around. I need to move careful and take them out one by one. Okay, learning so far with the CQB sniper setup. Don't go into dense bushes because you just can't get through it. Even though you feel like you're running an AEG, or some like semi-automatic gun, you're not. It just looks like it. You know, it kind of gets you in the, in, the, in the mood of, oh, I'm the CQB guy, I run from room to room so I have an assault rifle. And it kind of works like in CQB, but once you go into dense vegetation, but you just can't get through the bushes. There's no way. So that's so far the biggest turn down I have about this setup. Other than that, it's pretty good, man. In CQB, I had a couple shots where I was like, put the red dot there, pull the trigger, guys down. So that was nice. Round two. Let's do this. Fuck. Hit. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Right off, right there. I didn't expect the enemies to be that fast. I have to find a different way. Hit! Nice! One shot, nice. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, man. Got friendly fire by Joseph. There he is only having one round. And you know who uses it against? Me! <laughs> His friend. Hit! <laughs> nice. Ah! Trade off kill. Ah, that stings. Man, 1.7 shoes is just a lot for CQB. So trade-off kills are happening a lot because 
I fire one shot, they fire five shots and you know I hit them and one of their BBs hits me as well. Ah, that's annoying. After getting killed by Joseph and all these trade-offs, I am highly motivated to finally get a kill streak together. That was a good start. Let's make every shot count. Nice! <laughs> Good one! Nice! <laughs> ah, this is so much fun with the sniper! God! I love this cell, this is so much, it's just... You know, if you hit someone, it's so satisfying because it's so hard. Yeah, it's hilarious. Sometimes this just has too much power. I think if you're getting this adapter, you need a magazine with less uh, feeding pressure because this gun is obviously built for SG-10 magazines, which hold a lot less round. Like this stack pressure of this magazine is just insane for this gun. Okay, gonna switch to normal SG-10 magazines now. Gonna ask Joseph. <sighs> Man, I really like the design of this adapter, but the magazine has just too much power. Oh, this is a lot, a lot easier to handle. Now I can hold my gun here. Let's go back into combat. Doesn't look as cool anymore, I gotta say that. The game only lasts for another 10 minutes. There were two more enemies in front of me. Let's get to the building and wait for them there. I can hear more enemies around me. I need to get some cover. Guy all the way down there, hit! This is an amazing field. Man, it's so big. There should be 100 people, not 10. So this was the CQB Sniper gameplay. First of all, the biggest challenge for me. The biggest challenge for me was not being able to shoot through bushes. Because I feel like, oh, you know, I hold this, I have an AR. There's a guy, I just want to, you know, shoot through the bushes, mm -hmm. but I can't. It's just one It's true, it's true. It, it's the same as normal sniper rifle, because, you know, the only difference is mm -hmm. a red dot and more lightweight. But you have the same issue. It feels different. You're like, you kind of get like this, this god mode complex. Mm. I'm like, oh, I have this and I have a red dot. I, there's no way I cannot shoot through this, but you know, you can't. Uh, but you cannot. So that was, that was what bothered me a lot. Um, but in CQP, funny enough, like in CQP, it works really well. It does. It's you, just, you just wait more for the for the perfect moment to pull the trigger, yeah. while with a semi-automatic rifle you kind of go like, oh, I see someone. You have to be more focused. You have to really think yeah. about the shot before you mm -hmm. before you pull the trigger. And many times there was like, you know, a guy over there and me here, and the amount of cover was absolutely the same. 
Uh, won we won mm-hmm. and I won. You could do it, yeah. Yeah. You just take the guy down. Happened to me a Which lot of times. It's it it I wonder why that is, because obviously at this distance, um AR15 AG is it's superior. It's, it's it's superior. It's just as accurate as this distance and but still the guy loses. You know that you're in a disadvantage. You are to, just you are just better. Let's face <laughs> it. You are just better. Just you don't wanna well, say they just they just don't know how to play the game. <laughs> no, I am serious. I think it's it's the you know that you're in a disadvantage, so you just kind of outsmart the guy somehow. You have to. You have yeah. to switch positions. You know. Yeah, if it's you, like if you don't you hit go like, oh, and you go like, oh. because you you can't just stay there and shoot. It's like okay, I go back into cover, I reload, then I, I pop out here, and yeah, that's how it works. But it just works. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I totally love this setup. It's amazing. <laughs> Try it as well. Yes. And I guess that's it. That's it. Yeah. We will see you in the next one. Let us know in the comments how you like this setup. Um, I put a lot of effort into building this. I also, you know, I really we have a live stream. We made a yeah. video how we are building this thing, so it's gonna be linked in the description. We will probably release it before this video, I guess. That makes sense, right? I guess so. Yeah. So it will be linked in. in the... I, and I put a lot of thoughts into it after after it because, oh, right. like, where where do I place my, you know, where do I place my cable switch? Where's the yeah, the layout and everything. Yes, exactly. For example, I'm right-handed, so I want the flashlight to be on the right side. So when, mm. when I go around the corner, yeah. I don't, you know, shine against the wall. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm quite proud <laughs> of this setup, honestly. I Pretty think nice. that's as good as it gets for a CQB. And you can, you can get, I mean, this setup, you can get without the cameras and all that stuff. Uh, 300, 299. Short the, 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 ah, you can cut it. it, you can cut it. Come on, we cut it in the video, like we just cut who the barrel. Who has a laser home chosen? <laughs> ah, maybe you have a friend who has a friend who knows, how, who knows how to do it. Just don't take a saw and like, I mean, you could also uh, you do could, it that you way. Could actually right? do it, yeah. So this can be built. Don't uh, saw off barrels, okay? We put a lot of effort into making this shoot like that. <laughs> and and uh, the best thing is we are still shooting 0.46 BBs on 1.7 joules, which is the CQB uh-huh. limit. So. They Terrible. fly so slow and so straight. Yes, it's yeah. amazing it to feel, watch. It, feel, it feels like you throw a baseball at them. <laughs> yes, guy. <laughs> but except you, you can hit. Yeah. Because but al- throwing, I wouldn't yeah. be able to hit anything. But also when you hit them, it feels like you threw a baseball at them. <laughs> because the 4.5 and 1.7 it's just it's like, like, like <gasps> it, it's like they feel bam. it. They feel it. They yeah. go like fuck. <laughs> Because it carries the energy just yeah, further nice, than a yeah. regular rifle. Anyways, that's a that's a very long outro. So yes. let's let's cut it down. Good. See ya. See ya.